Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the getters. So, what is this getters in the Penia store or in the state management? So, we'll try to learn in depth in the Penia. So, getters, what we can say is they are exactly the equivalent of the computed values for the state of the store. So, they are nothing but what I can say is they, they are equivalent to the computed values. They can be defined with the getters property in the defined store, which we have seen it here. They receive the state as the first parameter. So here they receive the state as the first parameter to encourage the usage of this arrow functions. Okay. So fine. So we have seen about this getter function. So in the state, in the options API, if you want to write the getters means, so we need to have a property getters property. And is in this one, you will, you will uh, define all the properties, which re, which has the first argument as a state and you can use an arrow functions and you can define it. So most of the time getters will only rely on the state. So these are the really other state. However, they might need to use other getters because of this, we can get access to the whole store instance through this operator. So we can get whole store instance to this operator also. So if you want, you can use. So now let's see how we can access the other getters. For example, let's say that here in this one only we are having. So in the comp setup functionality, the store which was implemented using the composition API, so we are having one getter double count. And if you want to have an another getter, so you can have directly constant double count plus one. So this is one of the getter and here you'll be having a computer. And in this one, you can have like this and you can directly use this one. So return double count. So whatever the double count you are having plus one. So you can have like this. So now this is a getter function, which uses again the another getter function. In this one also, if you want to use this another getter function, how you can use it is we will try to show you uh, here in this getter you can have it like this and uh, for example let's say the double count plus one right so you can have double count plus one anything so here you can have it like this or otherwise colon like that also you can have it so here i will use return this dot double count double count plus one so like this we can write it so both in the options api we can write it like this and also in the composition api also we can write it like this. Now, if you want to use this one in our, uh, what I can say in our uh, home dot view or something like this. So how you can use it is so just same thing. So here I can use double count plus one. So this is the method and here I can use it directly like this. Oh, sorry. Like this. Now uh, that is the only thing, right? Which we have written double count plus one and we need to Oh, we should not forget it. We need to return it here. Now, if you try to see the same variable which we are using it, right? So here I am using it. Here I also am using. It. Now, if you see the output in this one, press this page. Now, here I am able to see double count plus one. Okay, we are getting it as an object, right? As that one is a ref value. Know that this one is a ref value, and we need to give dot value. And if you go into this one. Let's refresh this page. C plus one. And if I increment here, the so double count plus one, it will be always. So this one plus one, it will be. So like this, we can access the other getters inside the getters, both in the options API and also this one. Not only this one, we can also pass the arguments to the getters also. Getters are just computer properties behind the scenes. So it is, so you may be thinking that it is not possible to pass any parameters to them. However, you can return a function from the getter to accept any argument. For example, let's say that if you want to pass an argument here, we are having like this, right? Instead of this one, you can have a value. So we are returning a function instead of uh, value and here you can uh, return. Okay. Mm, value into double count dot value. Okay. Double count dot value. So whatever the value are trying to pass it here, I will be trying into multiply with three. And here, if you want to do it, so double count plus two into three. So whatever the value we are having, it will try to do it in, into three. So now if you see here, the output, what it will try to do. So here it will send the value three and it will double count whatever the value is there. It will multiply into three. Now if you see here the output here, if I zero, zero, everything is there. If I increment here, see three into three, nine, it will be. Now if I click here, six into three, 18, it will be like this. You'll be able to get it there. So not only now you can pass the dynamic value here. So whatever the dynamic value you are having here, you can pass it. Now you can pass the count or otherwise there only we can use it. 
so that you can so like this you can use it now getters also we can pass arguments so this is one thing which i want to tell you and uh, what i can say is uh, uh, closing this uh, getter thing we can also access the other store getters also for example let's say that in our stores we are having a user store let's say you we are having a user store user store.js and now here this is our you export constant use use user store is equal to define store not source define store of and here we can have the unique name so let's say user store and you'll be having a composition if something like this constant users is equal to so this is a ref uh, ref of so here you will be having an array and in this one you will be having id of one and uh, name of uh, something lila and we can have another one id of two and the name of some some value okay oh sorry some value we'll be having so this is the function so now we need to return this users return users so we can have the methods and all those things it's a little thing now i want to use this getter uh, i want to use this one so for example let's say that you can use the getter or otherwise you can use the other store also so now i want to use this uh, users in this getter functionality in the counter.js so what i can do here so you can have side directly constant user store is equal to use user store i can directly get this one and here if you want to access this one so you can directly get so for example constant get user uh a id or something like this okay so this is a computer property just i am trying this normally we will write it in the user store i am trying to show you how we can access the other store in the getters or anyway so here you can have and return uh, users store dot users dot find okay and here uh, what we can say here we will pass the id as the parameter find of user and here i can use user dot id sorry user dot id is equal to is equal to id so now i am passing it like this i think it should be users dot value dot find okay now if i want to use this one get user id by means if we, if we go in the home dot view and here if i want to use okay here i will use this method get user by id and here if i want to use this one uh, user with one okay get user by id of one uh, dot name so we'll be having that one right yeah dot name so if i try to see here if i refresh this page hopefully we should get an answer one i think some problem came so let's see the console what is that one set up get user by okay 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 so we need to return that user by id right in the counter.js so we need to you return this user by id so the, because of this reason what we can do is we can use this uh, what i can say this options api also so all the time we will be forgetting right now if you try to see the output cannot read our properties of undefined uh, reason here the user store we are having users we are having okay i didn't save this user store now let's see final time let's refresh this page hopefully we should get it till we are able not able to get it what will be the issue so we are returning the users and we are having the users thing and let's go to the counter.js and here what is the issue so what could be the issue here let's go to the user store and here id okay 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 so here we need to have a two objects right and what we need to do here and the user store dot users dot value i think the value we should not use it i think remember exactly let's see the combination yeah here yeah, it's working right now it's working now see now we are able to get the user id with one of leela so this is how we can access the other store getters in our other store also so this is how we will be access so this is all about the getters functionality more than this this is not this is enough i think so like this we will be using so you are you know how to use these getters in our store also in our component also we can use it like a store to refs concept or otherwise if you are trying to use uh, options api component means you can use map state so in the map state you can use it so this is all hopefully about the getters of getters thing
So hope you understood about this getters thing in the opinion. If you have any, uh, and I will be committing this code. Getters. What I will do is getters in Pinia. Okay. Getters in the Pinia or store or something like that. So I have committed this one in the video iPhone 72. Okay. What whatever, whatever the thing. I didn't come. I didn't. I didn't committed this one, right? We will create a new branch or something like that from the video hyphen 72 video hyphen 73 create a new branch from here i will commit this all the code so now you can able to see the code and everything in the github.com slash u composition okay so github.com slash yeah, view composition router. So whoever may be having a doubts or anything means so they can come to here and they can watch the code and all those things. So that is the reason I am explaining you. 72 is missing. I will commit that 72 also. Now, so whoever may be having a doubts in that particular video, so they can come to this particular branch in that video and can they, and they can see the code. So this is all about the Pinia thing, and we will do from the next onwards uh, the project. So we will do a sim simple project and we will close this uh, view 3 concept. Then we will go to the angular playlist. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.